Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gibson's 92. And I'm here to review Christina DeBarge. Um, she put out a new record uh, about a week ago and I missed it. And it's been a while since we've heard from Christina DeBarge. And I'm going to get to the um, nitty gritty. Um, welcome back to my channel, Gibson's 92. You already know how your girl do it as always. And like I said, the song I'm going to review is Breathe. Um, this song is a pretty good song. I like it for what it is. Um, it's more like that pop sound in the production. And I'm going to tell you something. Kristen Nia DeBarge is so underrated. Like, it's been a minute since she put out music. And even she started in the music business too at such a young age. And I followed her since day one. I'm a huge fan of hers. I've been you know just waiting patiently for music and I understand how the music business is and all that but she's been doing other th great things um she has been on the reality show growing up hip-hop I've tuned in I've watched for her because really you know the one that actually got freaking talent along with the rest of her peers but she really like I said really like to me she brought her personality to life on the show and also like I said you know she's been doing other great things like she got her own makeup line uh, Chrissy D Cosmetics so it's like man we just waiting for new music from Christina DeBarge I know she put out like a couple of EPs um, I, know, I know an EP that I have that I enjoy so much is called Thinking Out Loud she put that EP like a few years ago so yeah so anyway um, the record Breathe is like really good I love how Christina, she's just finding her sound and she already have found a sound for her so she's not like one of those artists that she want to be put in the box and I really do appreciate that even with her music now I just think that she just needs the right people and right management to promote her music and that's why I think even for her being overlooked because I think like I said she is from a talented family now you know who the DeBarges are you know because I grew up with them. I love the DeBarges. I love El DeBarge and all of them. You know, I love that family. Seriously. They made great music. They made great songs. They made, like, you know, hit records. Man, I just need Chris and Nita to get with the right people and get with the right team and put an album out. Because we need to hear another album from Chris and Nita DeBarge. And I know it's been a journey for her, too being in the music business and I know like I said because when she was on um, growing up um, uh, hip hop I was like okay cool you know she did bring her personality she did you know bring that aspect to her but like I said really the music was always the main goal and the main focus but anyway I think that now since she just released the song breathe and like I said, I love the fact that, you know, you know, she's just really in her own lane. And it's so sad that, like I said, you know, I just think that it's time for her to, like, put out new music. I think, I know she had um, said she was working on new music anyway. She's going to put out another EP called Exodia. So, I'm looking forward to, for that. Um, I really expect it to be, like, a full-length EP, like, you know, some songs, like a body of work. Because, really, I think that even for her and in this day and age of music like I said there's room for her um and I also think that even like I said me keeping up with her along the way because like I said I'm a huge fan I'm a fan of hers forever but it's been a while since she put out an album she put out her debut album back in like 2009 I remember when she came out I remember like you know she really was doing her thing but like I said, her experiences in the music business and how she had to really, you know, take back and, you know, revamp. And I think that it's it's really cool to see her still trying to brand herself and market herself as an artist and as an um, entrepreneur and as a businesswoman. So she's doing great things for herself. But the thing is, I'm so excited for new music and I want for her to do well in music. And I think that, I don't know, like I said, we'll see what's, you know, on the horizon for her because... I'm bored as hell with like I'm bored but every time when I hear something new from her it's very different and in a good way you know it's very like you know her music is just really 
I'm not trying to hype her up or nothing like that. But no, she had proved before. Like, she's capable of putting out good music. So she got her, you know, like I said, R&B side. And she got her pop side. And even the last um, EP, Thinking Out Loud, it was more like hip-hop. Like, that R&B-ish trap vibe. But I really, really want for her to put out a full-length project after the EP Exodius. Because, really, it's like this, you know... I just want to hear some new stuff. I want to hear new Christina DeBarge. I want to hear like what she's been through. I want to hear like, you know, just where she's at in her life. And it's really cool to see like artists that you grew up with. And like I said, even though, um, not well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but you don't know the circumstances. But like I said, I know how it is, and I know that like I said, people and the fans. Like I said, cause she got a fan base too, and she has a following like all her social media account, but. I just see her, like I said, really, like I said, when she gets everything together in her music, in that aspect, everything will fall into place. And it takes time. And some, like I said, artists, it takes a while for, for them to work on their craft until they pop off. I mean, a good way, like until they get really noticed. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, it, it's like you have, a, have to have that work ethic, of course, but you got to have like that support system. So really, in my opinion, you know, she has the right management to promote her music, you know, and even, like I said, get more interactive with her fans on the music side so people can really know more of her and not just, like I said, you know, how people are negative, like, oh, well, you're just from the barge, yeah, you know, from the barge family, but no, she has made, like I said, made it known, like, when she started debuting her music and stuff, she really was, like, out, like, I remember her touring with, like, Britney Spears and you know back in like 2009 but now we flash forward to like what it's 10 years later so it's like i was really concerned cause i was like i hope like i said she don't like said let the music business you know get her all crazy but it seemed like she's in a good place so that's cool um so yeah i like breathe you know um like i said it's really about like her and this person like you know in a sense it's like to Brie like you know they're together she want to make sure that her and this person like the guy that she's with like you know they're you know not let anything distract them you know she's there for that person just just take things by storm and it's okay to be a risk taker and all that good stuff and I think that even for her sound I see her doing more like the pop sound and R&B sound and even the hip-hop sound so my thing is um we're just gonna have to like i said you know see what's up with her in the future and i really do look forward to listen to her new music and like i said if she sees this video girl i'm ready we need new music from you we need new music from you so all y'all christine and barge fans we need new music from you sis because like i said i grew up with your folk i know how they rock and they took the world by storm so i know what's up but anyway um yeah um so guys what do you guys think about christina's the barge's song breathe let me know down below in the comment section like share subscribe you know down below hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button and like i said you know how your girl gotta do around here i gotta keep them coming with the videos i gotta keep them coming with the reviews so yeah um so stay tuned on the next episode of get the sense 92 Dragon Ball Z narrated reference. Peace.